Hey guys, welcome back to Doom 64. So there's an important lesson I learned, uh, not only from people coming into Twitch chat and like telling me stuff, but also from YouTube. Which is, this is a lot more of a beloved game than I would have thought, you know. A lot of people were into this. I'm gonna turn this down on my end as well, slightly. Kind of, I kind of fucked with my, my voice setup a little. Well, not my voice setup, but my, uh, my headphone setup. Let me back in. Alright. All, all I know is that there way more people were remember this game more than I would have actually expected. I, I thought I was just playing some rando like like knockoff doom kind of deal, but apparently there's a lot of people who were correcting me and going, like, no, no, I grew up with this shit and uh, and you're an idiot for making fun of it, so I'm like, alright. That sounds about right. I that seems to be the case with all the Doom stuff. I just assumed that everyone had the same opinion as me, which was that this stuff wasn't that good, and then and then as it turns out, a lot of people really liked it. I'm like, oh, whatever. Making you look like an idiot, will you? What the fuck am I being shot by? Oh, right there. I just assumed it was coming out of the wall. It kind of, it kind of felt like it, anyways. No, but like, um, I don't know. I, I'm still under the opinion that it's not necessarily that great, but you know. People are entitled to their own opinions. So that is. They are coming out of the fucking goddamn walls. I... I... I, I don't know. Invisible walls were a... Uh, were a... Uh, well, not invisible walls. Walkthrough walls were a trickin' doom one, so... I mean, not used to that quite capacity where it's just like dog shit just in like, like in a regular level geometry, but you know. It is, it is, it is what it is. The level design makes your head hurt, you agree? I mean, that's kind of, that's one of my complaints. I have several complaints about it. The music is not good, the animations are not good. Um, I've actually been looking for, like, because I've been asking people about it, like, why are the animations like this? Because I, I don't know, it, it's, the, the answer I'm getting a lot of is it's technical limitations of why the animations are just crap, basically. They just have to really skip, they really have to dial back on the animation, because I, the, what they likely did was they kind of started with like uh, the the 3D level design, right? Like you're you're in 3D levels and stuff, and they went kind of like all in for that. Uh, where the fuck am I going now? Um, so that, that's why that's why I kind of believe how, what happened. They they started with that, and then they started working their way up, and they're like, well, the levels take way too much fucking CPU power and whatever, so we can't do that, and and it's like probably several other things. Uh, that kind of went, it, it, I don't know, it's a cascading thing above it. Uh, like, what the fuck? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go, that's why. I thought this was another door. I totally missed this guy, too. So that's kind of that's kind of where I think we all lie in this in this particular case. It's probably how it all went down. They just, they wanted to, because, you, you guys, you don't even know the N64 was, like, just all about that 3D, man. 3D this, blast process. well no, blast processing was I think a Sega thing. It's all about blast processing. Fucking. You know 64-bit was actually a, a thing back then too. It was the, I think it was like the Jaguar or something that was all about that. It was it, like everything had like a, its own fucking gimmick. Every single thing at, back in that day and age. So you, you know, who knows. Because everything was like a glorified tech demo at that time, you know? So my thing was, so like Doom was like what, 1994? or something, Doom 1. I don't, I don't, I forgot the exact date, but they had like the animations, the enemy systems, like the, the sprites and stuff like that, the 3D, the 2.5D and stuff like that. They all had it as a part of that. And then they came out with this and like three years later and it's like a step backwards in terms of, the, in terms of like the music and some of the other things. So, you know, it's kind of like, I guess, opinions. Opinions, opinions, opinions. What can you say? I want to open these bookcases. Like, I do have to commend them, at least, for not making just a straight-up port of, of, uh, of Doom. You gotta- I, I'll give them credit, where credit is due.
But, you know, that's not necessarily the best thing. Oh, uh, you can't shoot that. Oh, nothing here. But you know, it's 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 that what I was saying is A for effort, but uh, F and everything else, I guess. It's a it's a little bit too loud. I can I can adjust it. One sec, just to make sure you don't miss anything. Actually, the the music's not even loud at all. You can, like you can't even hear music in this game. It's maybe one of my complaints that I've been complaining about several times. But you know you know what I I will say, like I don't I don't think it's terrible because if if I thought it was terrible, I wouldn't be playing it right now. So, what is the thing with that? Okay. Oh, you know what? Probably it is. That's what I thought. That's actually, like... <laughs> don't ask me why... I, I, okay, by the way, I'm not someone who looks up guides or something prior to me playing games. This is blind. I just looked at that and I'm just like, it's probably something stupid. Given given the, the, the solutions to puzzles that I've been seeing up until now, um, I just I decided to do something dumb and then uh, and it works. So you know what? I, I, you can't even fucking can't even tell me anything. What music exactly? I mean, okay, the argument that I was hearing uh, from a guy in uh, the YouTube comments was uh, they were trying to go for more like a horror ambiance kind of thing. Um, like it's this game is supposed to have better horror themes, but like Doom One is that really horror themes at all? I don't even know. Whenever I don't know, whenever I start Doom, I don't. I, the first thing I don't think is, oh wow, this is a great horror theme of game. Because there was games at the time that actually did do it. Okay, I guess this is not gonna leave. Oh, it did leave. Quake 1 music was the spookiest? Um, fuck, what were they even trying to do with that? I don't even remember. To, 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 can I be honest with you? The Doom 1, uh, sorry, not Doom 1. The Quake 1 music was pretty forgettable, too. I Because, like, I, I'm trying to think of what my favorite song for Quake 1 was, and there there isn't one. Because, I, I, like, right now, I, I don't even know what it sounds like. Did I just kill a guy in two shotgun shells? Oh no, it's another one. Oh shit. I probably could use a better gun than this, but you know. We're not gonna do that. I'm, I'm actually gonna fucking die. And I haven't quick saved in like a good year or so. Use the no, I don't want to use that. All right, whatever, we're good. Quick, I, I I don't know. I like, <laughs> I it, it, maybe it's just one of those things. It just had one hit, but you know, you never you you never quite know with, with what they kind of designed in these kinds of cases. To me, I'm more of like, like it's it, I'm just remembering like when I was younger, what I played Doom for, you know. It wasn't because it was spooky, I'll tell you that much. Quite honestly, I found Descent to, like Descent 1 to be more spookier than fucking Doom was back in the day. To me it was just like it was just a cool shooter, you know? Like, oh shit, you get to kill demons. Rip and terror. Well, uh, it wasn't so much ripping and tearing, but you know. It is what it is. Uh oh yeah. What the hell's the point of that? Oh, I see. This is. I guess this was kind of locked off before. I don't know. Fuck if I know. And 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 the other comparison I'm constantly making is like you have to remember what what you the other, the other games you had to play back then, right? Like, that like there was like Mario 64, GoldenEye, Star Fox, all this other shit. So, you I mean you could have been doing any one of those as well. You weren't you didn't you weren't like oh Doom 64 was the best thing to come out that year. I mean you know it wasn't. <laughs> it was far from it. So. Um, but you know, uh, it's it's like I said, a lot of people I guess have nostalgia for it. Um, to be honest though, there's a lot of games I like that they weren't that good, but I have nostalgia for. Like, 
Outpost 2 is a big one. It wasn't even that memorable of a game, but I just liked it. I still like it to this day, actually. I, th I still think it's really good, so... Although Outpost 2 actually had music, you know? Okay. We may have a slight issue here. I can I be can I be honest with you? The chain gun sucks absolute ass, and I don't ever want to use it. I, I honestly, it's like one of my least favorite weapons, but I think I'm gonna have to use it because like the amount of enemies that we're seeing right now, I wouldn't even do that. What like what's the stuff on the ground? What's the jiggling? I guess it's the I guess it's the horror theme right here, right there. Like there's a random arm and a sprite of jigglingness. I want that. It, it this may seem part. Maybe it's just I'm spoiled by Brutal Doom. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably what it actually is. The good old blockbuster days were uh, hoping the good games weren't rented out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, quite honestly though, I didn't grow up with this, so. I was I was on I was legit trying to get the feedback of of people who kind of grew up with this game like what's the appeal? I mean like it's like it's not terrible. I, actually, I'm gonna go over here first. Oh, maybe I'm not. Oh my god, it just summoned like three fucking paint elementals. <laughs> go away. That was a lot of noise. God damn it, summon some more. I like how it makes like a noise like whoop. Oh, I, I just kind of ran to this one. I didn't even care. <laughs> I just realized this. <laughs> and here I am, sequence breaking the game. Have you beat Blood Mike? Me and Ken were gonna co-op it. Um, Ken's kind of busy with stuff right now, given the whole like uh, bullshit that's going on in the world right now. So we can't really do stuff. I kind of asked him. He's like, "No, nah, I'm busy." So I'm like, "All right." So maybe, maybe that. Maybe I should get it like get it on with like Cadlos or WikiDo or someone else, maybe for a change. Who knows? Who knows? Blood, blood though wasn't that bad. I mean, it, honestly, there's a lot of older games that I didn't grow up with that I really liked. Like System Shock Two was that basically fit that kind of uh, uh, thing. Like then, like I said, we had Baby Brains. I played Diddy Kong Racing for hours. So you're, you're saying just like the immaturity contributes to like why the games. You, you know what? You know what? I'll also say the thing is like I didn't grow up with it at the time. There are there are some games that just don't age well, but they were really good at the time. You know, but they're just not good right now. That's what that's what you can more or less call it. So maybe that's that's the reason. And because I I, don't, I just simply I don't have the context of growing up at that time and and having an N sixty four. Like like I like I said to you guys, I said I tell you guys a sad story about how my parents wouldn't let me have an N sixty four. And to this day, I I uh, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? I hate them to this day. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I I don't, I don't really care. You're just like whatever, mom. Whatever, Dad. Okay, I don't want to quite pick that up yet, because uh, I want to. Because I'm pretty sure that's a timed power up, so we're just gonna keep that there for now. But it's it's just one of those things, like you know, maybe maybe it really was like the best thing that came was out at the time. Maybe it, was, it wasn't that bad back in the day. I just I don't recall. I don't recall any material related to it in terms of like like just advertising and like it being really good and people talking about it. I just don't remember. I remember like I'd go to, like I said I'd, a lot of the time I'd go to my friend's house who and he had an N sixty four and we would basically play uh, GoldenEye. We either play GoldenEye or we'd play Mario Party. That's kind of the two things we would play. 
All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep that power up there just because I'm not sure if I wanna use that yet. Something else might open up. I'm gonna assume I can come back. Unless you have nostalgia flashbacks and wanna play it because of memories, it's not worth playing many N64 games at this point. I wouldn't say that. Quite honestly, a lot of the entertainment that comes out of a lot of those um, old N64 games is a lot of speedrunning community stuff. Okay, so now I definitely want that power up. So we're gonna go back for it. I mean, we were pretty lucky the other day. We had a we had Peaches, who was a a, a, a Doom 64 speedrunner, give me a couple of. Uh, he was in our chat. He was just like giving uh, kind of like a, another perspective on uh, on Doom 64 that I didn't have, you know. And I I kind of came into this with a perspective I would just be memeing it the whole time, but you know, and I and I kind of did when I started, but. Um, you know, he, he, he did give me a little bit more appreciation for it, you know. Because it was just a game I hadn't, I didn't know. The thing is though, I like to make fun of every game, that's the, that's the other problem though. <laughs> Even games I enjoy and like, I make fun of them. Alright, what's here? Oh, we're gonna run over to the other side? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. That was the yellow skull key. Looks like they give you ample uh, health options here. I think the main thing is though that, that these weapons are completely unsatisfying. And just like, some of them are like a complete graphical downgrade too. <laughs> I'm also starting to realize the very tip of the, uh, the, the enemy variety iceberg here. It's, it's, there's the red pants barons and then there's the, the brown pants, uh, barons. So basically one kind of baron except they shit themselves I guess and then, uh, and then there's, there's two different colors of imps. And the mancubus, which we barely see anymore. I, I think I think we haven't seen them in quite a long time. I actually legit don't know what the difference between the purple imps and the, uh, the regular imps are. I, I know that the red pants uh, barons have slightly more HP. I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they're just both like shitty palette swaps with slightly greater numbers, I guess. Super Mutants and Nightkin. Um, yeah, so, fuck. I hate these guys so much, actually. These guys are somehow worse than pay elementals, I don't even know how. Alright, I think we're done the level. Yeah, we are. I'm sure there's plenty of games that have like really vivid nostalgia fucking fests too, and, and, and they're and they're actually really not that good of games, to be honest. Probably like half the half the old shit on my channel probably fits that category. Where like probably if you show so like you know, if I ever show my kids that I'm like, hey Sunny Sunny Bob, do you want to play fucking? Oh God, this is what I was saying that there's no Mancubus anymore. Also, the BFG is very unsatisfying. Just in terms of like sounds and everything, and the damage it does too. I wonder if it still works the same way as the other one. Because technically, I should be able to hit the wall and kill him like a, that. Yeah, that that was the BFG. Yes, that was the BFG. And these are Mancubus, by the way. All right, let me see. I, I don't even know what you use the rocket launcher for in this game. Oh, looks like he's in fighting. That's okay though. Like a rocket launcher was always a good splash damage weapon. I, for some reason, I just don't feel like this has any splash damage with it. 
Oh. Uh, Cause I'm just gonna go around and collect this all this crap. It, I don't know, a lot of the guns, like, kind of are missing their oomph. Like, super shotgun when you, like, clear out, like, an entire room, the rocket launcher, and pretty much killing anything. Did I, get, did I just hit myself? My character just made an oomph noise. Oh, so just in case anyone was wondering, so I kind of looked a little bit more. So some people were wondering why I didn't do the Brutal Doom variant of this game. And I kind of looked into it slightly more because I was a little bit curious. Like, I, I knew of it. I just didn't know. Like, I figured I should play, like, the kind of the port of it rather than the mod. Because I know how, I know, I usually know how those work when something was actually originally on the console. Like, it was, I did that with, um, what was it? Half-Life Decay and some other mods. Something with StarCraft, I think, I believe, as well. Or no, I never did get to that, did I? Oh, God. Let me kill this guy, because I hate him. So I, I looked into it a little bit more, and the Brutal Doom the Brutal Doom mod for it is obviously not kosher, uh, because reasons. Okay, let's go over here. Kill the guy who's spawning everyone. So it's it's basically it's kind of like I don't know I saw some guys review of it and didn't look that good. Uh, we're not actually missing out much on the brutal doom mod on, on this one because it is basically like it just wasn't designed for it and you're like taking like some of the console elements and honestly you're taking some of the level design that you're seeing in this one which sometimes isn't great and you're adding brutal doom to it which is not necessarily the best idea so you know it is how it is and there's also key in the middle of this room. Yeah, I, you know what? I keep hearing the excuse for technical limitations. Um, and I don't know why I just randomly shot there. But I, I don't know. I don't think it's all about technical limitations. I, I think it was just bad archi bad design. Because usually I, what I think they did was, I think they started by, make, by changing id tech, right? They made these levels, and they probably did all this stuff, and then as soon as they started getting into the, like, okay, now we gotta put this on our cartridge, I think they just had to make cuts to the, and, and, like, simplify things because of the way they designed the rest of the game. I'm gonna guess that I have to go into the mill there. Oh my god, what kind of fucking garbage is this? Maybe I should jump out to it from over here. Just think I have to jump over here? No, it's not like that. I that's what I that's what I think happened. I think they, they I think they had all this stuff planned. And I think it was just like probably mid development they just realized, oh shit, we can't fit all this onto a fucking cartridge. Oh I think I missed it. So Technical limitations, yes, but also poor planning, I think is what, what, what really did it in the end. No, I can't, I can't actually jump there. Because that's what, that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like they, they made an error in trying to, like, make it really technically happy, and then, you know, oh, there's a switch here, I just noticed. Um... They made, I don't know, I, I think they just made an error and then, like, with the planning and then just like, okay, well, let's just, let's just ba band-aid it and then, you know. Oh, fuck these things again. Oh my god, how many did fucking spawn? Whatever, we're gonna have to use this annoying gun. Yeah, the, the, the fucking room full of these things. You know what? Fuck this shit. Oh my god, dude. It summoned like seven of them. Can you imagine a Doom 2 level where they summon fucking seven pain elementals? <laughs> I just wasted a bunch of BFG ammo because I said fuck it. Like, I don't have any other kind of ammo besides rockets. And who the hell is going to use rockets in this situation? Fuck that. Here we go, guys. Um, fucking 
do this thing. That's honestly, that's sometimes how console projects go. At least back then, you know. Because you, 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 you probably work with, like, I'm, I, I don't know for sure, by the way, don't quote me on any of this, but it's like, imagine you have, like, a huge dev kit, right? So you, you know what you're supposed to fit it on in the end, but you're, you're developing, right? So they give you more memory, uh, more more processing power and stuff to work with, and more more storage, right? Because you're 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 working on uncompressed, like, unoptimized assets, right? And then you find then you finally get to the point where okay, now we got a game going. Now we need to release this this piece of shit. And then they're like, oh fuck, we can't actually fit any of this on the drive, or on the cartridge, or we'd have to spend a shit ton more money, or the publisher change something. So now we have to cut them some things out. And what are they gonna cut out? All the levels they just spent like hours and hours designing? I don't even know. Uh, it is, it is what it is. That, that was the level? Okay. That was a really short-ass level. The spiral. Oh, dude, 100% the entire level. 715. <laughs> Entering breakdown. Okay, that was way too short of a level, honestly. Uh, uh, what do I have here? I don't want to waste my other ammo. I'd rather... Fuck it. Where's my ammo? I'm more interested to get kind of insight into so what some of the I wish all these older devs would come out of the woodwork and talk about what they worked on and like what the challenges they faced and stuff like that. Because to them it was just like a job back in the day and stuff like that. But it's always fun. I occasionally have like develop like old develop old school developers that come on videos of mine and, and like say stuff like about what they worked on and stuff. There was the guy who um, apparently did. I think he said he did the models for Mech Warrior Three, and he came onto one of the videos and just goes, "Oh, well, cool! It's the game I worked on," you know, kind of thing. And he just thinks it's cool because it's like he just he just kind of looked up like, "Oh, that's a game I worked in the past. I wonder what people are saying about it," right? I wish more people would come out of woodwork for things like that. You know, I'd love to talk to some of them. That's on that time. Especially for some of the games I really like, you know. Not, not enough of them do that. Because I guess they're just retired and it was just like a job to them. So they're just like, oh, I'm fucking out. I need a blue key. I, I would like that. Cut out all the music. I mean, don't you hear this high-pitched screeching right now? It's going through your ears right now. Uh, besides my voice, that is. Hey, is this a... Uh... Wait, 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 one sec. What'd they do here? This looks like some fucking 2.5D shit that they did. Sorry. What is the deal with that? Oh, look at this. You see, we're going underneath a platform, so... They did some, they did some trickery here. It's probably a bridge. Or like a, this is probably like an invisible elevator, that's usually how it goes. Because I'm pretty sure they still didn't have the technology back in the day. Alright, how do we do this? Oh my fucking god, this soundtrack. It's just moaning and... Fucking... Stupid fucking puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumbass. That's your voice. <laughs> Moans and sirens. Alright guys, what do we want to hear? My voice or do we want to hear this uh, soundtrack? You can only pick you can only pick one. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I can see it now with the, the horror aesthetic, what they were what they were saying before. They're trying to add the horror aesthetic. Okay, fine, they did. I love I love the chainsaw. The fuck? Mike Latt News Show Retro Game Interviews, the best show since LP reviews. I should definitely do I should definitely do that. Let's make it happen. 
Or make people upset and shit on old old developers. <laughs> but honestly, I some of those some of those notoriously crappy like developers way back when, I wish they would come out and say stuff about like what they did, like like how much of a shit show it was. Like they were just going, Oh my god, I had this like ridiculous manager who just like he basically just was hounding me every hour and every second of the day. You know, I want to hear shit like that. That would be hilarious. I'm not sure what this music reminds me of right now. Okay, it's not music. It's sound ambience and what the hell. Was this open before? Alright, I'm asserting dominance with the uh, chainsaw. Okay, now I can go. This is this is much better than the soundtrack. Just do, do, do you know what you know what I don't get though about the so-called horror ambiance of this game? Um, it's the fact that the levels themselves aren't really horror, like. I mean, okay, fine, they had like a couple sprites there with some bullshit, but like, what? what is this? What, like, what am I looking at on the wall right now? <laughs> the arrows. The arrows pointing me towards this door. Because, I mean, Doom 1 did have, like, Probably some better themes in terms of like in health level design in terms of health. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I take that back. You know what? I'm, maybe I am being too hard on it. Look at this room. This is this is a pretty well designed. Look, look, it's the, it's the torture room. This is where they do the torture. Oh shit! I can't kill him with this. All right. So my next question is, how was this allowed on the N64? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone knows this, but Nintendo is a big stickler for uh, being family friendly. <laughs> you know, before I wasn't sure, but now it's like starting to get more to that horror vibe. So they have like what is that? Like a decapitated flesh body, and what are those things in the corner? It's like a spiked ball with some flesh sticking off of it. And cages with flesh, flesh things. Oh shit! Here we go. All right, here's what we do. We're going to the corner. Oh no! I actually took damage. You know what it really comes down to? I think it's the, just that the pinkies are the most disappointing creature in this game. I just killed like 15 of them with just nothing but the chainsaw, so... You turn those pinkies into a pie. You, you know what the weird thing is? Look, their corpses are just not here. It's like I never killed them. I know, I know. Technical limitations, etc. All right, now let's go, not this one. Roar. All right, so I, I know I'm a manly man and, and I don't get scared easily, but like, is it, dude, was there some kids that played this game way back when? It's like, oh God, this is actually a really scary game. I, I assume there's some. I'm trying to think of what the scariest game I played way way back when was. I don't know. I didn't really get scared by a lot of shit though. Besides, my parents not buying me an N64 it was a horrible, horrible thing. 
Like the, it's like the DSP Wolverine story, honestly. It's hard to get scared by games. I mean, a little bit. I honestly don't really like uh, a lot of horror games. Um, I don't find I don't find too many of them. I I don't know. I I like because. It's hard to make it, it. It is extremely hard to make a really genuinely scary game without like basically resorting to cheap tricks like uh, like jump scares. I, I I honestly think that jump scares is like the worst like thing in the book, and it's always really poorly executed. Like whenever I watch a movie, it's like the camera angle is in this way where it's like you're like okay the camera angle is gonna go to something else and then like something's gonna pop out. You, you just kind of see it coming, and like, I fucking hate it, because I'm just like, I know it's coming, and then it just makes this obnoxiously loud noise, you know, and I'm just like, fuck, why do you do this? What about Stalker? Actually, Stalker was legitimately scary, actually, you're right about that. Stalker was actually, and it was mostly because it wasn't scripted, that was the reason why it was scary. It was just one of those things you work at your own pace. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't do jump scares in that game. It was just you're, it's you and the, you and the AI. How, however, like the entire game engine was programmed. That's what, that's what it really was came down to. That one, but that that game was atmospheric as fuck though. So, I, I, you know what, that is actually a really good example of a game that's actually legit kind of scary. Remember those zombies sneaking up on you while you're fiddling with your PDA? Yeah, which time? But that's what I mean, it's like, that was actually legit, like, no tricks there. That was like, you know, hey, don't fuck with your PDA while there's like, while you're not safe. The hell? Is it this one? I'm just kind of curious. Can I go like over here? Okay, well this opens up somewhere, but we'll have to look at that later. Okay, you all say, fine, the music's creepy. I, I didn't expect it for a Doom game, but it is kind of creepy. But, and this is a but, Everything else about like this game, like the level design and the and the sound effects, do not fit the creepy aesthetic that that they are so-called going for. So that's that's the problem. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit together <laughs> at all. Because I had I actually had no idea that it, they were that's what they were going for. Because the rest of the game isn't that scary. It's not that creepy. It's 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 because it's tamer than Doom was like do like Doom One was that's why yeah that's what I'm saying it doesn't fit the game that's why like when someone actually legit said it was because it, they were going for something scarier I'm like I I don't get it oh, I was mega health there oh uh, how do we get in there <laughs> you gotta open the door here and then look. Alright, where's the secret at? Looks like it's behind the other secret door. Oh, hey, no, I can just face to the fucking wall again. Fucking... Retarded... Demons. Uh, quite honestly, it's probably how this project started. They were like, let's make a scary Doom. And then, you know, then they just made a bunch of compromises, right? These demons are ripped, though. <laughs> I went into the pit and that fucking triggered the level transition. Autumn Aurora did a good th job with the like se the, the lab segments and for Stalker. Yeah, it did. I actually have comments on that occasion with people going, "This these Stalker mods ruin the game. Uh, 
Some people actually hated my mod choices. Oh, that's a pretty cool red key card effect. Look at that one. That's a special door. Oh. Put the yellow key card there. Everyone hates my mod choices all the time. Yeah, people hated the fact, uh, what was that? Revision mod for Deus Ex? I mean, to be honest, what they did to the Hong Kong theme was un unexcusable, so I, I can kind of see that. That one was pretty bad, too. You, you know what the real you know what the real complaint everyone has is? It's because I haven't done H Doom yet, that's why. H Doom 64? Coming when? Alright, so now they close the door on me. The oldest trick in the book. Oh fuck. I just go in the corner here where it's safe. And then because I think there's some floating enemies coming to me. Who the fuck hit me? You hit me through the wall. That fucking MLG bastard. But you, do, you, do you know what? You know what this game probably came down to what, with most of its problems. Probably too many cooks in the kitchen, which is probably like the the problem with a lot of like big technical ambitious projects which is you know too many people having a say in how things go and then you know there's probably like someone on their team that was like hey I want to make something true to doom and then someone's like I want to have a scary effect to it scary scary ambiance to it right and then you know then they, you just mash it all together and it doesn't really make much fucking sense <laughs> so it doesn't really help the quality of the product at all is what I'm going going for. All right. So if I ju if I go down here, will I die, or will it be extremely painful for you? Okay. Um. Oh, there you go. Just kind of exploring this place. Okay, there's really nothing here, honestly. Too much coke in the kitchen. I I, I don't. I've never heard that phrase before, but we can go with that too. I mean, you you can I be honest with you? That's the problem that Duke Nukem Forever ran into. You know, they didn't have proper leadership on that team. Like nobody did, that just goes like, all right. You're in charge of the game, right? It was just like like 20 people with like, oh shit, this stuff was really cool, and then like everyone had their own ideas, they mashed it all together, and then it's like, oh, what the fuck's this piece of shit that we just created in the end? Oh, just release it. <laughs> so, that's kind of how it goes down, honestly. Honestly, probably half the terrible games you can think of that came out in like the last two decades and probably are attributed to that especially when they're like games that were like really classics because everybody has their own conception of how to make it better but then like you know it just ends up being bad randy pitchford turns everything he touches into shit well he's the he's he's the black sheep of of gaming okay um honestly honestly i don't even remember half the shit that he actually did anymore he he did Borderlands, right? What did he do? He's, he, I know he's at Gearbox. Fuck. Oh wait, I, I don't want to take that mega health yet. I was just in a situation where I have to just jump fucking down. Oh fuck you. Oh wait, here we go. Awesome. He did Earthworm Jig to drop back. I, I, I don't know all the things that, that Randy Pitchford did do. Hey Peaches again. I'm here to finish Doom and kick ass. I was just uh, we were just talking about how like the the music is actually horror themed, 
but the rest of the game isn't. And I, and we were just talking about how it's, it was probably a case of too many cooks in the kitchen, just like several different ideas uh, were all over the place, and then you know, just not executed the well. Oh, there's a armor down there we can grab. Oh, there's a thing right here. Too many cooks in the kitchen. So where was it? It was, I think it was over here. Uh, did I not pick it up? Why didn't I pick it up? I, I may have missed it. Where is it at? Because you can't look up and down, so you can't actually see it. What the hell? Oh no, this is security armor. Fuck me. That's why I didn't. I don't even need it. I have 102 armor. <laughs> Just eat up that entire health kit. Yeah, it's not not mega armor. Yeah. All right, now that's. I think I haven't been here yet, and it's trying to bring me to a teleporter. You know, as much shit as you give uh, uh, Randy Pitchfork, is he? Is there anyone possibly worse than Tim Sweeney? I mean, come on. T Tim Sweeney fucking ruins games that that he's not even the developer for. All right, and that he has nothing to do with, and just somehow ruins them. <laughs> what? I have never seen this item before. What is that? Oh, computer area map. All right. <laughs> I like I like the name of that computer uh, area map. It's not like a, it's not an area map. It's it it's. Oh, why do I have this gun? It's an it's just a, a computer area map instead. <laughs> they put a computer in front of it. I don't understand. Why is it a computer area map? That opened up something to my left there. I, I, for some reason, I felt like I was just running slower. I had to check the. I mean, you run slower in general in this game, but oh shit, there's gargoyles here. Fuck. It just summons like fucking ten of these guys. Go away. <laughs> these guys are so t actually I don't think they can hit me here. Oh oh dude, I'm invulnerable now. Oh, yes. Oh, damn it. I mean, they could just kind of go around the, the pillar. The pillar was entirely safe up until that moment. I probably should just use rockets or something, I don't know. They don't seem particularly weak to the shotgun, and I, I have like 79 of these. Well, there's an invulnerability here, but I don't really flip and need that. But, you know, it's going to be one of those things where I probably should take it and then... Go through the rest of the level. Then again, I don't have to. I don't actually need it. Why well, take it if we don't need it? I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't even care. Okay, maybe, maybe. You know what? Fuck it. You know, they have pretty good biceps, I have, to, I have to say. What's their routine, I wonder? Unfortunately, my screen is incredibly bright right now. Oh. I was just 
rocket him. Better, pa better enemy path fighting than some of the newer games. For uh, for for Doom. Um, I don't know. It seems about the same to me. I'm more just sad that there. Okay, maybe I, I don't want to go fight back in here because there's a blue door here somewhere. The thing, the thing I like is. Uh, oh, I've actually, I've, I haven't actually been in this room yet. Why is this guy in a cage? And I just totally shot the door. Whoops. Sorry, I was caught off caught off guard. So why 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 does it, in his jail cell does he have a have a kid of a thing going up here? Who knows? The hell is this? What the hell? Okay, well that's not a key door. What what is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Alright, let's just look around a little bit more. There's actually plenty I haven't explored here yet, to be honest. Did you just do this thing where it puts a flipping backpack at the end of this? What the okay. There's gotta be something else here. You, you didn't just put- you didn't make me just go through this. So do, okay, apparently they, they, they may have just made me go through that for no other reason than to get that. Did that just open up now? Alright, well, I don't know. You know, there was a Mega Health I saw earlier in this level, and uh, I don't even know where it is now. I don't even remember. What the fuck is this? I actually don't know what that is. I, I'm legitimately curious. That's just wild, this this door. I It, it probably is like something to do, because I just got the yellow key card, so it's probably like the other side of the yellow key card room or something. I don't know. To be honest, I don't even remember where the yellow key card door is if I've seen one. Probably somewhere around here. We we just did we just did that that we just did that uh, level that was called the spiral and I finished it in seven minutes. It was like the shortest thing imaginable. And then we got this level, which is ginormous and huge and like actually like a like decent like size level. So I'm 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 on, I'm genuinely curious on what why why there's so much variation in the, in the maps like this okay where's the i guess there's nothing for us to do except for do this okay okay we got the armor now all right i think the mega yeah there's the mega health so I didn't, supercharge, sorry, make a health supercharge, super sphere, something, something, something. All right. So this is still blocked off, but I don't recall there being anything up there anyway, so. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. So there's a room up there. Be a box of bullets. All right. Oh wait, I don't think we've been here. No, because none of this is picked up. This is a new place. Mike, would you recommend me going back and playing the Doom games from the original forward? Um, I'd recommend you playing modded Doom, Doom games from the original forward. Those are really fun. They're honestly pretty cool experiences. It's one of those things, like, if you start with Brutal Doom, you actually can't go wrong, to be honest. Because that's more like a modern, what I'd say, like, kind of like Doom, except more modernized. 
and kind of just fun. And more within like what the original developers kind of liked. It was a, it was honestly like it seemed like a, a inspiration for a lot of the the new stuff that they've come out with recently. You know. All right. So here's the thing. I now have the yellow and red key cards. So I'm gonna guess that wall now maybe opens. The the weird thing about that wall that we saw earlier is um, it when I pressed uh, use on it, it didn't actually flicker the key, which is what it normally does. Uh, usually it basically... Okay, no, I guess it's still not opening. Never mind then. That's what I was, that's what I was gonna say, is that that wall is kind of weird, but... And unfortunately, this map is not that good at uh, letting me know where the doors are, <laughs> if I've seen them already. Because it doesn't actually show you on the map uh, if you've seen one of the one of the doors. You just have to use your something called your memory, which is, uh, uh, as you guys know, not not a capable thing for me. Okay, so not here. I don't think it's there at least. Oh wait, maybe I haven't been here. Oh wait, no, this is this is it. Oh, so this actually opened up again. Okay. Oh my god. I hate this guy so much. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I probably should just use the rockets on them because they seem to just take so much longer to die to, to, through everything else. I'm pretty sure they have like bullet resistance. Which usually I go, alright, does this open up? Oh my goodness. That, that texture is like like trippy as hell. Alright, so we just pressed a switch that um who the hell knows what it did. Oh you had you had that probably opened up the flipping door now. Oh my god. Fucking Cause that it, that it's the mystery door. It always comes back to the mystery door. Spiral is a sweet level. Spiral was was very short. I'll say that much. Oh, and it, and it spawned like a shit ton of yeah. This did, it did open this. It spawned a shit ton of the what are those things called the um, uh, fucking pain elemental guys, which was rather rather irritating when I saw that. Right, I'm guessing this is the level exit. Yeah. <laughs> Need to say it's an exit. 99% kills. No secrets whatsoever. Entering burnt offerings. 